Hey guys, today I want to make a video about pendulum swinging. Um, it may also be called dousing. I'm not really sure. I'm going to explain what it is to those who don't know. But if you're watching this video, there's a chance that maybe you could be involved with this. Um, I just kind of want to share my own testimony. Um, and hopefully it'll help somebody else. Okay. Today when I was on my, uh, I was on a Facebook group, um, for, I have thyroid disease, so I was looking at this group and a lady had asked everybody in the group if they used pendulum swinging to determine what foods to eat, what foods are good for their body. And I have, I'm familiar with pendulum swinging and I'm going to explain some things to you guys, but... Um, I had never heard it used in that context before, you know, to be able to determine what foods are good for your body. I was introduced whenever I was a young child, a family member showed me this little trick and they thought it was a game and I thought it was a game. Um, basically what you do is you hold a pendulum or a necklace or some kind of anything that swings over your wrist and if the pendulum swings one way that means you're having a boy you're gonna have a boy one day if it swings another way like it could swing clockwise it could swing this way that means you're gonna have a girl well my family we kind of showed me this when I was a, a child and you know I thought it was a game and it was crazy because you could sit there and hold this pendulum very very still like without any movement and you know you could hold it over the wrist of like let's say we we held it over my mom's wrist and it would show exactly how many kids she had and it would stop right whenever it would show the order like it would show girl and then it would swing for boy and then it would swing for girl and then it would stop and it would just hover and it would bounce and it would work every single time. Um, <clears throat> one time, I had even, uh, we had a picture of my grandma. She had been, she was, she was dead at the time. It was my great grandma. And she had several kids. I didn't know the order that she had all her kids or whatever. So just out of curiosity, you know, I held this pendulum over her picture and wrote down what it said and come to find out this pendulum showed every child she had and showed whether you know the order boy girl boy boy you know I, I can't remember right now what the exact order is but it was exact I didn't know at the time I had no idea this is just something that a family member had introduced me to but I didn't know at the time what I was what I was dealing with, what I was messing with. Um, anybody who has heard my testimony knows that I have dealt with some pretty heavy, heavy, heavy demonic things in my life. Um, I've gone through some really, really just horrible, horrible demonic things. Um, if you're on my channel for the first time, I encourage you to, to search my videos and you could see my testimony of what all I've been through, how hard it's been, but through all this, Jesus has shown me his grace and his mercy and the power of his name. And he's shown me that you know, Satan longs to steal, to kill, and to destroy. There have been complete years where I walked in just such anguish, depression, physical pain, um, and all of those things. And Jesus ha has shown me that it was all Satan. Satan was just stealing from me. Um, guys, whenever you play around with this stuff... If you're playing around with pendulums or dousing, 
what you're doing is you're messing with an unknown force. Now, I've been in the presence of demons before who have appeared to be good. The Bible says Satan appears as an angel of light. And one thing that Satan can do is he can cause a sense of euphoria. Like, you know, there's this place in, uh, in the United States called Sedona, Arizona. And people go there because they say it's a place of healing. It's a place of, they say when they go, there's just this sense of peace and this sense of, guys, whenever I was there, I noticed there was a lot of psychic power there, like a lot of psychic, a lot of crystals, a lot of just new age, demonic things. And I was attacked heavily by demons when I was there. So that shows me that a lot of the whole spirit behind that place is just one of such deception that, you know, people are feeling peace when they go there. You know, guys, it's temporary. Any peace that anybody feels through Wicca or witchcraft, I can guarantee you guys it's temporary. Once Satan gets you in his grasp, it, it's going to turn. And you're going to be overcome with anxiety. And you're going to become overcome with fear and depression and it's not going to be good. Um, I know a girl who's heavily, heavily into Wicca. And she, uh, you know, I guess at first for her it was all good and hunky-dory. And now she's suffering anxiety, going to, you know, having major physical problems. If you watch my testimony from last week... Um, I was having some major physical symptoms in my body and I prayed about it and the Lord showed me that it, it was Satan, it was demons. I rebuked it and all the symptoms left. You'd be surprised guys how much, how real, you know, that there's a whole unseen world. There's a whole unseen world and don't be deceived by this pendulum swinging thinking that it's innocent because what you're doing is you're inviting demons into your life and even though they might seem good and that they're helping you I can guarantee that it it's the worst thing you could possibly do because I personally have been a victim of what of what demons can do to a person but through all of that, the Lord showed me His grace and His kindness and His mercy and His love. And He showed me that we have authority to tell the demons to leave in the name of Jesus. And they will leave. Guys, if you're doing this, I encourage you to repent. I encourage you to confess it and to ask the Lord to close the door to whatever it is that you opened. Because this is nothing to play around with. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't know any better. And I think there's a lot of people right now doing this who just don't know what they're doing. They don't understand what these spiritual forces are and that the nature of Satan and the darkness is to deceive and, and to de destroy. So, guys, just do not get involved with Wicca or witchcraft or pendulum swinging or psychic nonsense because it's not worth it my battery's about to die but search this channel pray know that jesus is misrepresented by many people a lot of christians claim to know him but they don't act like him but he is good thanks